Johnny Valentine. Oh, yeah. And Mad Dog for Sean. Winnipeg, Canada, some guy, 1969. Lions and I at the bar, Bill Watts, Mad Dog, his brother Butcher. Nice family. Yeah. Mad Dog and Butcher. Mm -hmm. You know what Dog told me? He says, I love my name. You know what it is spelled backwards? <laughs> You know what? Okay, lots, <laughs> lots of literary geniuses over here. <laughs> so Thank you, C A T. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're in a bar, and this drunken Canadian Mark comes up, and he wants to fool with um, Watts. He always picked the biggest guy. You know, yeah. Watts got the little hat on. You know, it's like Cowboy Freddy from Omaha TV. <laughs> Kid show. <laughs> T-Bar Ranch. <laughs> yeah. So he starts messing with what? Somehow he gets into it with Mad Dog. So Mad Dog goes to the guy and the guy moves and Mad Dog cracks his head on a wooden post in the middle of the bar and just opens it up and no blood. Just a, 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 a red crease in his head. And Dog turns to the guy and he says, now we're going to have some fun. <laughs> and he gets the guy down and he reaches in and he starts pulling the guy's eye out. Oh. And Butcher, his brother, tries to pull him off. And they finally get Dog off the guy, and Dog is biting the guy. It's like no fight you've ever seen. Yeah. And as they kill you at the bar, Watts says, what would happen if you mess with a big guy? <laughs> <laughs> but Dog is a tough man. And we were in Denver one night. He went out to eat at a place called a White Spot. It's like a Denny's. So he's sitting at his own table by himself. He doesn't bother anybody. Yeah. This is Maurice Mad Dog Vachon. He didn't get the name with badges selling cookies. <laughs> He's eating, and some guy sits down and says, Hey, can I talk to you, Doug? He says, You are about to make the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> and he wipes off his fork. And the guy leaves. And the guy goes across the street, he's about four friends. They stay across the street and they're talking. So Doug walks, Doug calls his brother, Paul. He says, Paul, I'm down here at the light spot, here at the Riviera Hotel. Drive down to meet me. We were going to have some fun. <laughs> so, Paul gets in the cab. You know Paul? I've never got oh, that thing. Paul. Paul was a horrible guy. He dog's, was the, he's the real big one. And, dog's and, the and, killer. and dog's the killer. Yeah. yeah. So, Dog walks outside the bar. He sees a guy across the street. So, he walks across the street to walk through. The guy says, Do you have a light? Dog says, I need to. As he reaches his pockets, they go for it. <laughs> he picks up a guy and he runs with him to throw him through a plate glass window, and he trips. <laughs> and he's mad now, so he kicked the guy so hard, he tore the toes off his wingtip shoe. <laughs> Do you know how it is to tear a tip, toe off a wingtip shoe? <laughs> Paul pulls up in the cab, there's bodies all over the place, looks like Beirut. <laughs> Dog is here and says, I'm sorry you missed out on your fun. <laughs> But I'm telling you, he is a he, he's a dog. He's an animal. Well, 